But one thing I've been thinking about and given a lot of thought to here lately, especially with the availability of PlayStation 5s and a lot of developers making announcements saying, we have worked really hard to bring you this, you know, day one, this game. And Resident Evil 8 is the one I'm thinking of that did it recently. It's like, we we're working really hard and we're happy to say that Resident Evil 8 and whatever other big game coming out will be available day one, launch day, on PlayStation 4 and Xbox Series 1X as well, you know? Why is this happening? Why are they having to take extra time to make sure that these games are also compatible with previous gen systems? Why isn't current gen available right now, right? Because these hoarders, these scalpers, these people you know, that work at these retail stores that are just buying stuff up as it comes in, you know, and, and just hoarding it and hiding it. And the general public can't get their hands on this stuff. Now, I am one of the people, I haven't sternly tried to get one yet because I've got other things I need to take care of first. I own a house, all this other kind of stuff. I ain't got 700 to 800 bones to drop on a new system. And yes, it's 700 to 800 bones because... If you think just buying the system 500 bucks plus tax you're gonna get a couple of games right there's 60 70 bucks plus tax you want to get your different peripheral if you want to get another controller boom there's 60 70 bucks plus tax it's almost 800 bucks when it's all said and done so a lot of people don't have that extra income right now especially with people being out of work this is a horrible time for people to be trying to get new systems so what's happening that combined with the issue with the scalpers what what's so what's the issue people have been asking me why do you think you know they're they're spending all this extra time developing for the previous gen and just move forward i totally agree but they have to because if they don't they're gonna lose half of their possible sales that's what it comes down to everybody that owned a previous gen system i'd say about 30 to 40 percent of that number has a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. That's it. That 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 number, I'm probably in the right ballpark there. Last I checked, only 30 to 40 percent of people who own previous gen systems have the current gen systems. That's it. So if you develop a game like a big AAA title, like a Resident Evil, like a Final Fantasy, like you know Cyberpunk tried to do, right? Everybody was like, oh, it was greed. Well, I guess you could kind of say that to an extent because, you know, they got a bottom line. They got a, they got, they have a red line they have to hit on sales, right? To, to make the game profitable or whatever. And they exceeded that by leaps and bounds. But a lot of people don't have current gen systems and they won't be able to play these new games when they come out. And it's going to hurt these companies' bottom line. It's going to hurt the money coming in for them. It's going to hurt them developing other titles in the future if they don't have that money to put in the bank to get to work on those other titles. That's how business works. That's why we're seeing a lot of these companies come out and say stuff like, we're happy to announce that it's gonna be available on previous gen, or they're saying current gen, right? Which PS4 and Xbox Series X, even though I have a PS4, I'm not gonna lie, it's previous gen. It's not current gen. Current gen is out. So say previous gen, don't say current gen. But I, I really feel strongly that's why it's happening. I 100% believe that's why it's happening because they know if they release these games that they want they want people to play them and enjoy them. They want everybody to have a great gameplay experience and all that kind of stuff. But they also have to put that money in the bank to get started on the next projects. Games are expensive to make, you all. Like these current games on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, PC, Steam, these games aren't cheap. When you figure in, you know, not just development time, not just the technical stuff, but you, you know, hiring your musicians, paying for your score, paying for your voiceover, renting the studios to do voiceover. That stuff is not cheap. That's the, that's the stuff that people don't think about. That stuff is expensive to pay for. You got to pay for all those voice actors. You got to pay for all that studio time. You got to pay for all the studio time to record. You got to pay for your mixing engineers. You got to pay, have, like probably 40 percent of the budget doesn't even go to making the game that you're physically playing like the coding and stuff and the art design and all that the other 40 percent goes to other things 
Well, 50%, you know, you've got marketing, you've got your recording stuff, you've got all that kind of thing, right? And then you have people in new pickups. You have, it's expensive to make a video game. That's, that's why, that, that's, that's why it costs money. It's, it's not, I don't, it's not greed they got to get the money right you you can't make something for nothing it costs money to make things it costs a whole lot of money to make a triple a video game and if 60 to 70 percent of the possible market to purchase your game doesn't have the system that your game is being built for well then you have to find a way to make it playable on the system that people do have that's just the way it is. I mean, I know it kind of sounds gross when you're talking about money and stuff like that, but you know, the more people ask me why I think that's happening, why I think people are bending over backwards to make sure their stuff still works on old hardware, you know, and I've talked about this with Final Fantasy. I, my hope would be that the next game is be the next games are being developed solely for PS5 and you know, next gen moving forward or current gen, but the reason they won't be is because they have to get that whole market there's a business side of it that a lot of people don't think about if you haven't been in business you don't understand it if you haven't seen all the little things that go on behind the scenes it's not gross it's not gross you know greed or whatever that's not it it costs a lot of money to make games and when you're planning four or five years in advance which a lot of these companies do you have to hit certain numbers every quarter you're not going to hit any of those numbers. You're not going to be able to develop Final Fantasy 17 expansions for 14, uh, the further releases of Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Resident Evil 9, Revelations 3, Remake of Code Veronica, Remake of Resident Evil 4. You're not going to be able to fund all these things if you can't pay for them. And every year, every quarter, game development gets more expensive and more expensive. Even people developing indie games are like, whew, this is expensive. You know, Jesus, I got to do a, a huge Indiegogo. I got to do a huge Kickstarter. I got to do this and that. And we support them because we understand that it costs money to make games. But to make those big games we enjoy and review and critique and talk about, it, it costs a whole lot of money. So, you know, that's, that's why people are bending over backwards to make sure that their stuff works on the previous gen's hardware. Because it has to. They have to sell X amount of units. And I guarantee the number of games people are wanting to sell, the ratios of people that play their stuff is not lining up with the ratio of units that are in the hands of the common, the general public. It's, it's just not lining up. People hoarding and people not having enough money for the stuff right now. You know, you know the pandemic, people being unemployed, people not having the money to buy them. That's a big part of it. And the, I, th I would say the biggest part of it is these scalpers. They're, they're hoarding these things. They're, they're, they're ordering hundreds, if not thousands at a time when they go available on these websites. And these big retailers are canceling those orders now. A lot of retailers are saying, hey, you go into a store. I go into a store once a week to make a, a, a store run for my household, for my family, to get groceries and to get things we need. We go out once a week. And I check every time I go into the store and like now they're saying, Hey, we don't, we don't carry it in store. Now you have to go to the website and order it there. We're not carrying them in the store. We're not going to stores have stopped. You know, the, where I'm from, they're like, we're not carrying them in the store. You have to go to the website. So anyway, let me know what you all think about that. It's a hot button topic right now with people that, you know, they're, they're adamantly f either for putting games on the previous gen or they're opposed to it because of the cyberpunk issue right now i think cyberpunk tried to make it work for the ps4 architecture and the xbox uh series x architecture like late in the game right late in the game like they i think if you start with that in mind laying the groundwork from the start i think it's okay but if you don't do that and you just you just come at it like putting a square peg in a round hole then you're then you're gonna get what you got with cyberpunk so uh which is a great game from what i hear for those that have got to play it again i'm not gonna get into that whole ball of wax but resident evil 8's doing it 
We know Square Enix is going to have to do it. We know all these other big developers for at least the next year or year and a half are going to have to do it. People just don't have the, the current gen consoles. They just can't get them. So anyway, leave your comments on below. Let me know what you all think about that. You take into account how much it costs to make video games. It, it's just astronomical how much it costs to make a game now and to plan for future games and to, and to secure that staff and those salaries. And you got to book studios in advance. You got you got to book actors in advance because their stuff. You got to book musicians in advance. You got to make sure schedules are like. I mean, it's it's so much to do. It costs so much money. So anyway, you all have a great day. Keep rocking. Be safe out there. Be good to each other. Now I'll see you all in the next video.